my goodness. I see it. What? Graves, Mark Graves just put it drunk. In. Sorry, I, I mean that might be a little harsh, but I can't. Six years. What's the news? Who I don't know the out? money. Someone put the money up there. I don't know. I only see six years. Okay, the Giants are officially done, guys. Uh, w- w- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where? Um, Giants Twitter says they've agreed to terms on a six-year contract extension with Chapman. I don't know the money though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, like, I'm fine with giving. I was fine with like four years, and you just better go get something to put around him because it's like you said he can't be the best player on a six like, years 151 million that's 25 a year just what i thought and any terms let me see if uh let me let me look this up here hold on here i gotta just do a little work research here yeah uh that's the, pull up uh that's brutal and you know what? Here, I'm I'm gonna play the the positive side of this for a moment. Like, here it, it is. Chapman will good. earn 25 million each season through 2030 and get a one million dollar signing bonus next year. Scott Boris clients almost always test free, but Chapman loves it here, and the Giants didn't want to let him go. Okay, the Giants it's clear that he wanted to have be. agreed to a six year 151 million dollar contract. Goodbye, Casey Schmidt, it looks like. You didn't ever give him a yeah. shot at third base. Uh, th- this team is going to have to get top hitters, and it looks like they put their money into Chapman. They yeah. basically up to salary another $7 million. That means, you know, Conforto's $18 million is gone. They may look to move off Taylor Rogers, eleven million or whatever he makes. That's twenty nine million. Um, Yaz, I don't know, ten million, or, or they let him go. Um, Yaz to me is a person that I, I understand why he's so liked, and I, I get like he's not he is not the issue. Like I don't know how like, Giovanni is. Should- this guy Giovanni shows up whenever there's something happens. I think he's a troll. I don't think that's his real name. We've asked him to come on. Um, whoever know Giovanni's, uh, I think it's a made up name. But Giovanni, uh, you can tell me to keep yapping. How's that working for the Giants this year, buddy? I told you they'd be a fourth place finish. You want to come pay me your bet that you were so proud to point out that you wanted to jump on. Giovanni, this team is a fourth place team with Matt Chapman this year, and they will be a fourth place team with him next say, year and the next year. Him. You just, just extended them, and it Chapman. doesn't make your team better. It does not make your team better. What did Chapman do for the Toronto Blue Jays? Nothing. And they had Vladdy Guerrero, and they had a productive. Um, uh, ah, the shortstop, Bichette. They had a, you know, Bichette's having a bad year, but he didn't have a bad year the year before. You had, you had, had a big year last year. Yeah, too. Belt. And then you had, uh, didn't they have Springer there too last year with Toronto? I think so. Yeah. Springer was there last season. Uh, you had a much better team. I mean, that was a 90 win team, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I and don't Chapman, know the total was, and they but... didn't, and they didn't want Chapman back to, to the extent. I guess they made him an offer, but he didn't take it. But I, I do think he wanted to go back to California. Yeah. I, I, I think this is one of the very few players where, you know, not even necessarily the money mattered for him. It was, you know, he, he was going to take the money to come to San Francisco. And then, and he, he kind of played it perfectly in his, you know, for his, for him, like he's played it perfectly. He came to San Francisco, probably didn't take the biggest contract that he could have gotten elsewhere. And he went to San Francisco because he wanted to be in California and played really well to get the big contract out of the place that he wanted to be. And yeah. Senior just may have made the statement of the night. 
He says, well, this seals it. Farhan isn't going anywhere. Yeah. It, it appears that Farhan has, if they let him make this deal, is ownership giving Farhan the carte blanche, like, you're back? Oh, guys, I don't even know if I can watch this team next year. Yeah. And, like, the, here, I'll, I'll play the positive side for Chapman for just a second here um, yeah. in, in the sense that, I'm going to have to dig deep on this one, Dan. <laughs> um, he, you know, there's always the talk, like you can't have no vets. And that's true. Like you, you have to have some veteran presence. You have to have some leadership. He is that. Like he is a pro. He is going to show guys how to, you know, play the game the right way, all those good things. And if you are serious about winning and you do want to come out and go get big players, whether that's trading for Vladdy and then when Bryce gets here and then making another big splash and getting like an, an Adamus type player. Like if you're going to go out and do big things with it and get him down in the lineup where he's hitting sixth or seventh, like he can be an extremely valuable player. Now at six years, 150 million, I think they're nuts, but absolutely nuts that like that's, I, I can tell you how the negotiations went down. Boris is, Say, yeah. you know, we're going to test the market, you know, and and uh, and and they make some offers and the Giants are looking at, you know, going uh, five years max. And they're saying we'll go five, you know, 120, 125. And and Boris is like, you know, well, we got time. You know, you want to throw in that six year because we're going to get it on the open market. And uh, if you want us to sign, come up with the six year deal or we'll just. We don't have, we're no hurry. Farhan comes back with the six year deal, and Boris is laughing his ass off, going, I got us. Matt, we're signing this deal. I really only wanted to try and get you three years. <laughs> I, I would have settled for three, three years more on top of this year for 75 million. And Farhan just got suckered into three more years. And, and you know what? Farhan complained about, I, I know he didn't care for Longoria. He didn't care for the contract that Longoria had. And I don't think Longoria cared for Farhan. Yeah. No, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> and so, so Longoria uh, is, you know, Chapman's a better all around uh, yeah. player. He's in better shape. He He's is. a good base runner and all those things. But, Age is – father time catches us all. Chapman's going to be 37 at the end of this deal or 38. What is he? He's going to be 32 next year? Is he not 31? Yeah, next season 30? is his age 32 season. I think he's like – his birthday is in March, I want to say. Let me let me pull this up. Matt Chapman. I'm going to look up his uh, – yeah. this, this is crazy. Matt Chapman. We'll look at baseball reference here, and we'll just look at it. It'll tell us his uh, – all right. Matt Chapman is 31. He turns 32 in April. So at one month into the season, the end of April. So he's 32 next year. So you got him for age 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So through age 37. Um, look, guys, by the time he hits 34, his production will go further and further into the tank. Um. I'm not against Matt Chapman as a as a as a piece that is kind of I can see more Chapman being more of a missing type piece when you have a solid group around him versus being the piece to build around. And that's what the Giants are doing. Yeah. They have a guy that they think is this star player. Look. He's never had more than 91 RBIs in a season. And that was 2019, the year of the juice ball. He's never, I mean, he's at the end of his prime right now. Yeah. Like Mark Graves just said, I, where did I see?